Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. If you are new here, my name is Alyssa Rain, and today we're going to be reacting to some goth TikToks. Yes, I know I have been gone for a very long time. I've had many things come up, as life does. We're here again. We're recording again. Hopefully able to get into the rhythm of things again. Uh, but anyway, I suppose we will just jump right into it. Alright, so our first TikTok, it says... I love being in my true goth form, but not the four to six plus hours it takes to get there. It's not even just with the makeup, the hair takes a while too. And just me doing my hair today, it probably took 20 minutes. Looking goth is a lot of work, but it slays, so. I love this trend. Let's guess whose outfit this is. My favorite is the unserious ones, where you definitely can tell that it's the uh, wrong one, but all the comments are like, uh, one looks right, but two feels right. How do I look, yellow man? You, you look like you're about to tell your friend not to come to school tomorrow, man. <laughs> Gotta love a little bit of dark humor. <laughs> I just love this video. I just want to look like a bat. That's really all it is. I wish they'd go back to whatever basement they crawled out of. They wouldn't know what to do with a real girl anyway. I just thought this one was cool. But like, imagine. See, i am been playing on my second channel. If you didn't know, it's Alyssa Rain Games. But I have a gaming channel. I've been playing Alice Madness Returns. And I'm just thinking of cosplaying Hysteria mode. I think that would look so sick. And in general, I think it would just look sick. Because with like fake blood and stuff, it gets, it's really sticky. And once it gets in your hair, it's just like gross. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Oh God, I'm scared! Okay, I'm about to do it. I'm doing it! Fire it! Ah! I'm going out of the way! Shut up! I'm genuinely like this like every single time that I go in public. <laughs> like unless I'm with a group of friends who are also like me, or I'm going to like a concert or something, I... It makes me so nervous. Like, I'll record a YouTube video, and I'll just want to go out, you know, get a little treat from the gas station or something, and I walk in looking like this, in my small little Wisconsin town, and everyone's just staring at me like, what? What is that? I get so threatened, because then everyone thinks that they can talk to me and say whatever they want to me, and I'm like, please, I just want a chicken sandwich, please leave me alone. How did you get past security? His fortress is impenetrable. Door was unlocked. So a little fun story, the only reason me and my boyfriend uh, met, because I meet a lot of people online, however he caught me with that uh, music riz, if you will. He, like the first message he messaged me was a lyric to a song that I really really like, and I was like, you know your ways. That's gonna be me right after this video. Like, I wear makeup every day. I'm used to it. But when I have, like, lipstick and, like, full goth glam and my hair is hairsprayed in a very specific position and I have a corset on and very uncomfortable clothing, it just feels nice to just be in sweatpants and put my hair in a bun. You just got slayed. Slayed. That's me with, like, 23 of my piercings. <laughs> Don't do your piercings by yourself. It's it's so not good for you. You can get an infection, and then if you get an infection, then you have to go to the ER or the walk-in, and then that's gonna cost you. If you're in the United States, it's gonna it's gonna cost you a bit. I recommend going to a professional, always, of course. However, of course, when I was under the age of 18, and my mother was like, you can't get a piercing. I was like, <laughs> you wanna bet? That's how I have so many ear piercings, because I just wanted more piercings, but she would see the ones on my face, so I did all the ones on my ears and just wore my hair like this every single day. Uh, but now I have a bunch of ear piercings, which apparently, uh, with TikTok, it's a commonly no thing with, like, people with a lot of face piercings never have ear piercings, and vice versa, but I have a lot of both, and that makes me, makes me feel special. <laughs> I cannot tell you the amount. Every single time I do corpse paint, specifically, they're like, oh, is that like, is that kiss paint? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I also live in a smaller town where people don't even know like what black metal or corpse paint is. So it's just 
it's it's always kiss it's like oh were you, are you trying to be one of the kiss members and i'm like no no i'm not but now with the new whole jojo siwa thing of you know her being asked if she knows who gene simmons is and she's just like oh i'll have to look that one up and everyone compared her to gene simmons now all of a sudden my corpse pain is getting compared to gene simmons and i'm like what's what's happening i just thought this one was cute it's so cute but then i read the comments and everyone's like oh that's like something about how they argue and they like they they're trying to tussle i want to have a goth woman beat the shit out of me that's like one of the top things i want to have happen to me before i die main reason is that i'm a huge wrestling fan if you are a fan of professional wrestling you probably know who rhea ripley is and for those of you that don't know her please look her up and come back to me She's genuinely my celebrity crush. To me, she's like one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my entire life. Her literal nickname is Mommy. You know how bad you have to be for your literal nickname to be Mommy. The easiest thing is, I feel like I'm totally capable of handling a goth woman. I may not have that aesthetic to me, but I am a certified listener to Tool. Also because I'm a certified punching bag, both physically and emotionally. I'm basically free for anybody to use and abuse. Just imagine how romantic it would be if you just beat the shit out of me. Then we could cuddle together and watch The Crow. And to me, I don't really think this is too much to ask. Because I'm trying to find any purpose in life. That purpose is being a punching bag for a beautiful goth woman. Please, for the love of everything that is holy, sign me up for it. And if you disagree, shut the fuck up, you liberal sissy. As a goth girl, I disagree. <laughs> Personally, I love Rhea Ripley. I think she's awesome. I think she's super cool. I absolutely love her. Rhea Ripley defining what goth is, is... It's not correct and i'm trying not to be buzzkill i'm trying not to be buzzkill i love rhea ripley but this person is clearly just seeing goth girls as like an object and i you can call me snowflake you can call me whatever it's the joke's getting old the joke's getting a little bit old it's been about like four years of just tiktok non-stop talking about goth girls and i think it's uh getting a little old love rhea ripley uh she has a very dark aesthetic it's more metal head i'm sure she's like just gone into the uh train of the goth mommy thing but um she's definitely metal head not goth unless she listens to goth which her her persona with the wrestling is very metal she looks like a metal head she acts like a metal head all of her music that she like puts on her show is very metal but if you're gonna say you want a goth girl and the only goth girl you have is Rhea Ripley, you don't actually want a goth girl. I feel like no one has an idea what goth actually is because it's just so overused and it's like everything is goth now. Like there's a clean goth girl aesthetic and it's just like your average person but uh wearing black. Like you can have a crush on Rhea Ripley and think she's gorgeous because she is gorgeous. She's awesome. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're into goth girls. I mean, she's a wrestler. Maybe you're just into very dominant women or the darker aesthetic or metalheads. But do you guys know what I'm getting at? Her on stage is not her in real life. And it's very clear that Rhea Ripley is putting on a performance for like social media and things like that. So if you're saying that you want a girl like that, you're just wanting an actress basically i i don't know a single person who is just all goth dummy mommy 24 7 like it's not a thing it's it's just a stage performance also the way that he says he's a certified listener to tool <sighs> like don't get me wrong i love tool but saying that you want rhea ripley because you know how to handle a goth girl and you listen to Tool? The things aren't adding up. <laughs> Tool is nowhere near anything that Rhea Ripley does, much less. She's more like new metal. Like, I mean, she even took her inspo from Mel Strings and White. She's very new metal uh, when it comes to stage performance. But little news flash goths don't listen. Like, if you are talking about goth music, Tool is not goth whatsoever. This just kind of reminds me of the time that my ex brought up the fact that he's more goth than me because he listens to ACDC and I don't. Crazy. I know. That's the most crazy point you can make in this video, I feel. 
And also he talks about how he wants to be used and abused, and I think we should stop normalizing being abused in a relationship. I've been through a lot of things. A lot of people have been through a lot of things. And it's funny when it's like, I guess, an inside joke or just like a trauma dumping joke, but when you're talking about how you want, everyone correlates, it's very, it's, it's not very good to correlate like wanting a goth girl and wanting to be abused in the same thing because that's going to correlate goths being abusive. And it's been kind of a trend of making goths out to be these abusive people and everyone wants like controlled and abused but like in a quirky way and I'm like that's I just don't think these people get it me going through these things I would never say like oh I just I would just want to be used as a punji bag I want to be abused I want such a toxic man and controlling because I know what an actual toxic and controlling person is I don't think people online understand what abuse is and I think when they do understand what it is they're just gonna be like oh this is like you know this is normal because everyone talks about it all the time and it's like it's like cute and it's like an attractive thing because like I want a controlling person but you you don't just in general we should stop normalizing it and we should also stop correlating goths with being abusive and controlling and crazy I think a lot of goths can agree we don't want to be correlated with abusive relationship things we just we just like our music and our style and our and our dark spooky things and you know it's it doesn't have to be correlated with Literally beating people. <laughs> anyway, rant over. We'll go on to the next one. Friendly reminder: If you're wearing big shoes, friendly you're reminder: driving. If you're wearing big shoes, you're not driving in them. Your outfit this is, is cute, reminder. but it's not worth your life. So wear your silly Crocs and put your big shoes on when you get there. This is a thing that a lot of people don't know, and I also didn't know until uh. I realized how hard it was to drive in big shoes. If you're going out in your platform boots, high heels, things like that, just wear like sandals or something easy to slip on just to drive and put your shoes in the side because trust me, you will not realize how much you are speeding because you all of a sudden your foot is this much longer and a, a lot of things can happen differently. It's just hard to drive in the platform boots. Not only that, but it's ruining them because they're not supposed to flex. They're supposed to stay stable. I love this TikTok. This TikTok is so cute because I always get upset because I'll be having a good time with friends or, you know, while I'm getting ready, someone will make me smile a lot and I'll be laughing a lot and I get upset because, you know, my smile lines will crease and like, as you can see, like under here and right here, I mean, you probably can't cause my eyeliner, but it'll start creasing and it'll make my makeup run. I'm upset cause my makeup looks like crap because I've had it on since 10 this morning and it's uh, two in the morning. It looks pretty good still. It's probably just because my camera quality is really bad that you can't tell. I keep seeing this like trend of like, oh, like you don't want your makeup to crease and you don't want the smile, like just, you don't want to age, you don't want to suck on straws because it'll cause like wrinkles running out and things like that. I'm like, just enjoy life. You shouldn't be afraid of aging or wrinkles or anything. I think people are overthinking it. See, they'll like, they'll be afraid to like drink through a straw because their lips are puckering and it might cause wrinkles, but also they're sitting out in the sun for 10 hours straight without sunscreen. I guess you can just pick and choose. But yeah, about that TikTok, um, my makeup creases all the time and I hate it so much, but then I just remember, like, if I just, you know, if I'm having a good time and I'm just smiling the whole time and I'm having a great time, like, does it really matter? You can't see the creases if I'm still smiling. 90% of the time people won't notice, unless you're in bright LED lights like I am right now, but my camera quality sucks, so you can't see. <laughs> I do plan on getting a new camera and a new microphone. I know, background static, it doesn't sound good in general. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm working with what I have right now. But yeah, that's uh, all the videos I have for today. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like my video, please consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel and make sure you like this video. For now, I will try to upload as much as I can. Eventually, I'll get to a regular schedule. I swear, things have just been coming up nonstop. And also, if you're interested in gaming content, I do have a gaming channel. It's gonna be Alyssa Ryan Games. Anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness, we have the whole family in here.
You may be confused as to why I have an additional cat, because the one on that chair, right back there, is not this one. As I said, a lot of things have changed in the past few months. You all can't forget about Zero. He just had a vet appointment, because he has this little scratch over his eye. You wanna show the camera? Is it a little scratch over his eye? Yeah. He, uh, he, uh, had a skin infection, and I don't, I don't really know what it is, and I don't know what it's from, but it spread all over his body, and he had hair loss everywhere, and it was very scary, but I think he's doing better now, his hair's growing back, and he seems to be oozing less. He's so scared of the vet, ever since they fixed him, he's been traumatized, <laughs> but he was very strong. Very strong boy. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, all that's been going on. I mean, there's a lot going on, but zero's okay. And that's all that matters. <laughs>